Hi guys, welcome back to Depth of ML. I am Saloni and today we are going to solve the second question for Python programming that was asked in GATE DA paper 2024. So let's see the question. Let's look at what is this second question. So this is the second question, question number 41 from GATE DA 2024. It was also a two mark MCQ and uh, let's see what this is asking. Okay. So they have given you a Python function. So they are saying different, there is a Python function. It's taking some D, S1 and S2, okay? And something is happening over here. And they're saying, what does this Python function do? So they're saying, what does this Python function do? Select one appropriate option below. So you have to select only one option from below. Okay, so it's an MCQ, not an MSQ. So it's saying it finds the smallest element in D from index S1 to S2, both inclusive. It performs a merge sort in place on the list D between indices S1 and S2, both inclusive. It reverses the list D between indices S1 and S2, both inclusive. And it swaps the elements in D at indices S1 and S2, leaving the remaining elements unchanged. Okay. So there are four options. Let's see how to uh, go about them. Fine. Um, fine. So... Two things I understood from the statements, okay? So two things that I've understood that D is a list, right? Everywhere it's asked, saying that it's a list uh, because it has indices, right? So D is a list. Looks like D is a list or it is at least an iterable, right? Index S1 to S2, list D, right? And here also it said list D. And here in these two cases, it did not mention. So I can assume it's a list, fine? So let me... How to do these questions? I will assume that D is a list. Say one, two, three, four, right? And it's saying about something about the indexes and every this thing, right? So let me assume S1 is equals to zero and S2 is equals to D. So it's saying inclusive at multiple places. So I'll take the inclusive index. So I'll take zero, one, two, three, right? Three, fine. So this function D, S1, S2, right? So there is this list going, there is this index, start index, and this is end, right? So it's saying if S1 is less than S2, if the index S1 is less than S2, then do this, okay? What is this doing? D, S1, D, S2 is equal to D, S2, D, S1, right? So this particular operation is basically a swap, okay? So just swapping the values, right? So if I had a, uh, I have a list, two, three, four, Right. And my S1 starts from zero and my S2 starts from three. So my S1 is here. I will just write it with a different color. So my S1 is here and my S2 is here. Right. So what it's saying is you would swap them. So the first iteration, what it will do is you'll swap these both. Right. So this will become four, two, three, and one. Fine. Okay. Now let me do now that now again this is a recursive function right so it's calling function on this d again where it has incremented s1 with plus one and uh, s2 it has been decremented by one right so let me do s1 with plus one so this is s1 is one and s2 becomes two right so my s1 is now here and s2 is here right so it's again going to do a swap right so we'll come here and it'll do the swap because s1 is less than s2 and it will do the swap, right? So it will do the swap. So it will become 4, 3, 2, and 1, right? Now it will go to another function call and it will do S1 is equals to 2 and S2 is equals to 2 minus 1, which is 1, right? Now if S1 is less than um, S2, then you have to do otherwise. You will have to return, right? So here the return will happen, right? So this return will happen. So it will come to the fu last function call. Return will happen here. And then return will happen here, right? So this has been changed, right? The, the swap has happened on the list itself. So you can see that I had list 1, 2, 3, 4. Now it has become 4, 3, 2, 1, right? So what has this done? So this has reversed the, the list. Reverse the list. Reverse the list between S1 and S2, correct? So this is my answer, right? It reverses the list D between indices S1 and S2, both inclusive, right? Because it is actually making changes on the index itself, right? So because I had taken zero and three, all of these are changed and they are inclusive, right? 
so this is the answer so c is the solution for this and this is the two marks mcq fine so this was a very easy question so if you know how the recursion works you can solve both of the questions that were there in the gate exam um so recursion seems to be an important topic from the point of view of gate da so keep practicing that fine